Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heavens and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven, you are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. We offer this Mass for the souls of Nigel, Roy, and Grace Butcher. We pray that the good Lord will grant them peace. And we pray for the family and those left behind. My brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Holy A reading from the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord was addressed to Jonah. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city, and preach to them as I told you to. Jonah set out and went to Nineveh in obedience to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was a city great beyond compare. It took three days to cross it. Jonah went on into the city, making a day's journey. He preached in these words, only 40 days more and Nineveh is going to be destroyed. And the people of Nineveh believed in God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth and the greatest, from the greatest to the least. The news reached the king of Nineveh, who rose from his throne, took off his robe, put on sackcloth, and sat down in ashes. A proclamation was then promulgated throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his ministers as follows. Men and beasts, herds and flocks are to taste nothing. They must not eat, they must not drink water. All are to put on sackcloth and call on God with all their might, and that everyone renounce his evil behavior and the wicked things he has done. Who knows if God will not change his mind and relent, if he will not renounce his burning wrath so that we do not perish? God saw their efforts to renounce their evil behavior, and God relented. He did not inflict on them the disaster which he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? Out of the depths I cry to you, O oh Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, Lord who would survive? survive? If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But, but with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? 
because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will redeem from all its iniquity. If you want to part our guilt, Lord, would survive. Let us stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. She had a sister called Mary, who sat down at the Lord's feet and listened to him speaking. Now Martha who was distracted with all the seven, said, Lord, do you not care that my sister is leaving me to do the seven all by myself? Please tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, he said, you worry and fret about so many things, and yet few are needed. Indeed, only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part. It is not to be taken from her. Beloved in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Today, let us reflect briefly on waiting on the Lord. The English word to wait means a lot. To wait, first of all, means to serve another at the table. To wait can also mean to pause and rethink. To wait can also mean to expect, to hope for, to anticipate. And so to serve at the table or to serve one another to pause a moment to expect or hope for or anticipate or come in to come to say that we are waiting on the Lord. But if you want to categorize it, waiting on the Lord, we can say that there are two types of waiting. Waiting on the Lord actively and waiting on the Lord reflectively. What is waiting on the Lord actively? Waiting on the Lord actively is engaging in active work which comes in a way that we help other people. We serve other people in their need. We care for people. We show compassion to people and we come to the aid of people. And that is represented to us in the gospel by the attitude and action of Martha. Jesus visited the house of these two sisters. They were all happy to welcome him. Martha waited on Jesus actively by preparing the food, making sure that Jesus feels welcome, that Jesus gets something to eat, and then to show that indeed she is hospitable. That is one means of waiting on the Lord, to serve others in their needs, to provide their needs. Waiting on the Lord reflectively is also represented to us by the action of Mary. Mary sits at the feet of Jesus, waiting on him. To listen to what Jesus will communicate, to act on Jesus' word, to pray with Jesus. And so this aspect of waiting reflectively is demonstrated in prayer. Pausing from our daily routine in order to be with the Lord silently and patiently listening to him. And so these two, my dear brothers and sisters, are very important in our journey of faith, to wait on the Lord both actively and to wait on the Lord reflectively. 
there are two sayings that come to mind, come to waiting on the Lord actively and reflectively. One is the one that we should have probably celebrated today, Sister Faustina or Maria Faustina Kowaska. She tried to be in a religious congregation for several years. She was refused. She only attended school for about three years or three years of education. And she became a handmaid, a servant to many families. But when she joined the congregation of Our Lady of Mercy, she became a cook, a gardener, and a porter, waiting actively on the Lord. Then in the, in, the, in, the, in the convent as well, she constantly sat at the feet of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, listening to Jesus, hearing Jesus, praying to Jesus. And that is where she received the revelation about the divine mercy, which we celebrate always. This is a person who waited on the Lord. Sister of St. Teresa of Calcutta also did this too waiting. She cared for the sick, the needy, the abandoned. But again, she waited patiently by listening, reflecting, and being silent with the Lord. These two great saints teach us a lot about Mary and Martha. Today, as we hear Jonah visit the Ninevite, the people there also waited. They waited for the mercy of God. They thought to themselves there was no way out to avoid the punishment of God. But when Jonah preached to them, they paused. They changed their old ways and they embraced the forgiveness of God. And this brought the mercy and the favor of God on them. Today, like the psalmist, who found himself in a pit of misery. He cried unto God, and the Lord visited him. As we wait on the Lord today, let us wait patiently on him, engage in active work, listen to him, and understand that as we wait on the Lord, his mercy, his forgiveness, and his blessings will come upon us. May the Lord strengthen us all that we will wait on the Lord each day of our lives. Amen. Speak to the Lord from your heart, from your soul, and from your inmost being. Wait upon the Lord. Give thanks to him for the gift of your life, for his blessings upon you. Implore the Lord to grant you the grace to wait upon him. Pray for the abundant, the hungry, the thirsty, the poor, and the needy. That the Lord will touch heart to come to their aid. Pray for the sick, that God's healing may come upon them. And we ask Mary, our mother, to assist us in our prayer as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are there amongst you men, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Loving Father, as we wait upon you, we seek your presence in our life. We seek your grace and your strength that we may be able to do what you yourself have asked us to do. 
Grant us the grace and strength in our weakness that we may always remember that your mercy, your compassion, and your favor await us. We ask all of these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And now pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God the Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, first Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thou your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those we remember today. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh, him and with him and in him, O oh, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With trust and confidence in our loving Father, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with a bow, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, be to God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
my Jesus. I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. Amen.
The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, Amen. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass Amen. is ended. Thank you very much for your participation and have a blessed day. Thank you.